What's going on YouTube? Today we're doing intro to blue team and today's challenge is no place to hide. Let's go over the description and see what is the channel about. We found an evidence of a password spray attack against a domain controller and identified a suspicious RDB session. We'll provide you with our RDB logs and other files. Can you see what they were up to? So basically this all tells us that um, someone has got access to the domain controller the main uh, admin workstation in a, in a domain environment and they got access through remote desktop so basically we need to find out what they did after they gained access we need to know what are the system commands they executed what are the actions they have performed all of this needed to be done by looking through the logs that have been captured so the logs are rdb logs and basically we need a tool to parse these logs normally rdb logs come in the form or come in uh, uh, as cache and bmb extensions or sometimes after you unzip the uh, the file they they extract into pmb images okay so we download the files from here and then we head over to the virtual machine okay so what we're going to do guys here we're gonna go over the zip file so where is the zip file we have it here i just saw it okay so sudo 7zx no place to hide And the password is hack the box. Okay, we have two files. Let's take a look. So, as you can see, we have one with BMC extension and one with binary extension. The first file name is bcache24, and the other file name is cache40. So, what we're going to do here, we're going to use a tool called BMC parser. So, let's head to or let's mount the repo I have see the repo see the BMC okay so BMC tools are tools to parse RDP logs simple as that so what are all of these PMB files so basically the challenge I did it yesterday and I streamed the video there was no sound and I needed to redo the video again so these are the screenshots of the RDP logs after you run the tool against the cache file. So basically the BMC file, you're going to leave it alone and you will only run the tool against the cache file. So the syntax will be Python 3 and the name of the tool dash S means the source. The source file is the cache for zeros binary file and the destination will be up to you I specify the destination as the current working directory after we hit enter you're going to be able to see all of these pmb files here so what do we need to do we need to go over these images or screenshots hopefully we will be able to find out what has happened by just looking through these so we go to repo and bmc tools I'm going to put the video, uh, the link description, the, the link in the video description of this tool. So as you can see, we have screenshots. Now, going over them one by one will be tedious and dull as they are over 1000 screenshots. So uh, we're just going to see if we can get any clues from these screenshots. So as you can see, these screenshots are all about showing the login process. So here the attacker was logging in and then you see the windows icon, the search. And then here you have the background. This is the windows background. Then you scroll all the way down.
okay here as you can see we start to get some clues this is the command prompt so the attacker opened the command prompt and I'm gonna start from here so this is a straighter if you go one more we have the administrator so the attacker has opened the command prompt as administrator judging by these screenshots okay keep going this is the all rights reserve statement you get when you open the command prompt keep going okay this is the first command who am I and the answer was administrator okay that's the first command the other command okay we see echo here so echo hey HTB so this is where you get the challenge flag now the challenge flag represents your ability to be able to find out what are the system commands the attacker has executed on the machine so this is the flag as you can see echo hey HTB and what you're going to do guys you're going to take the uh, characters image by image so this is the start of the flag curly brace w4 and then you have 7ch underscore y 0ur underscore c0 and uppercase n lowercase n 3 uppercase c71 and then the end of the curly brace that's the flag so these screenshots show the attackers uh, commands that have been executed as it was, they are scattered you have to um, look at them one by one to be able to combine a full meaningful you know picture of what happened and then as you can see the attacker proceeded to open the system uh, the server manager dashboard judging by these screenshots these are or this is the dashboard of the server manager in Windows Server okay guys so this is it I, ho I hope you like that and I will definitely see you in the next video